Everybody has this dream image of how their life with their new dog is gonna be, and it's gonna be a wonderful, happy, joyous experience, until they start doing amazingly annoying things like digging holes all over your garden. So when that does start to happen, how do we fix it? Welcome back to Femory K9 Training, and today we're gonna to be looking at another one of your questions so that we can help all of you guys become high-level K9 leaders that have perfect K9 companions so you can actually experience the dog that you've always dreamed of. So, without further ado, let's get into today's question. Hi, so my question is about my dog's digging behavior. Every time it's out in the garden, it's digging a new hole, and it now looks awful. What can I do to help stop this behavior? Thank you so much for the question. And this is one of those behaviors that is simply just incredibly frustrating, but unfortunately, it's also very natural for a dog. And unpicking a natural behavior can be very challenging, but there's definitely some steps that we can take to help you overcome this problem. And if anybody else is watching at home that's having the same situation, we'll help you overcome it as well. So I've got three steps to help you get over this problem as quickly as possible. First and foremost, give your dog significantly more exercise and mental stimulation than they're currently getting and see if that helps fix the problem. One of the most common root causes of digging behavior is pent up energy and frustration. If you can get that energy out of your dog in a proactive, positive way, you might find that that alone will stop any digging behaviors in its tracks. Secondly, it's really important that we control our dog's environment. If you know that there's a certain place in the garden, maybe your flower beds or your vegetable patch, that your dog absolutely loves to dig up, simply do not give them access to that area. You can fence it in, you can put your dog on a tether where it's not long enough for them to get to those environments, but controlling your dog's environment is really important if you don't want Want them to get up to no good. And the third thing is to not give your dog too much freedom too soon, especially when they're young puppies or adolescent dogs. Giving your dog a lot of freedom and then expecting them to choose positive ways to spend that freedom is going to allow you to set your dog up to fail and absolutely is not going to allow you to set your dog up for succeed. I guarantee in one way or another, your dog will find a bad decision to make if you give them too much freedom. So when it comes to your digging up your garden, simply do not allow them to have unsupervised access to your garden and you will have your problem solved. So there's my quick three tips to help this amazingly frustrating, difficult, challenging behavior that can have you absolutely pulling your hair out, but is one that you absolutely do not have to live with. So I hope it helped. If it did, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode.